Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Steve. And I'm Audra. And we travel in our self-converted camper van with our cat, Gray Gray. Do you guys have any idea where we are? <laughs> We've driven our self-converted 2019 camper van north to escape the heat and humidity of Florida. We like to travel on a low budget and share our adventures with you. Our goal is to inspire, entertain, or possibly just give you some ideas for future travel while sharing how we do van life. After visiting with friends and family in New York, Pennsylvania, and Maryland, we took scenic Route 9, referred to as Delaware's loneliest drive, south towards the beach and enjoyed the beautiful views as the sun set over the marshy area along the way. Our destination, a Cracker Barrel. The next morning we got on the road to visit a quintessential summer vacation spot in the Northeast that we haven't visited in years. Saturday morning, we just got here a little before 10 o'clock. Um, we didn't do a lot of research at this location, so we just found out now that it's free parking before 10. So we're getting a little bit of free parking, then we'll have to put some money in the meter. Right now, we're just taking some time to explore the north end of the boardwalk. Guess we reached the end of the boardwalk. So since it's 10 o'clock now, we just stopped here in the shade to pay the meter with the online app. All around the boardwalk area, it's paid parking and it's $3 an hour. So we took care of that and now we're going to keep exploring. Am I winning? So it's pretty fun to be back here. I used to come here with my cousins when I was really young, and then Steve and I actually came here right before we got engaged. So, what, it's probably been almost, no, definitely 25 years yeah. since we've been here, I think. It's been a while. But a lot looks the same, so let's go check some things out. All right, who of you have been to the Candy Kitchen? I loved this place when I was little. So this, and these guys here. They're my favorite, all the colors. Have you ever had these? You lick and lick and then the inside is white. Look, this has been here since 1962. Oh man! This one's for you, Kara. Are you gonna get some quarters? It's time for a ski ball. This is probably the only game I'm gonna win at. Oh, he stinks. I think we both suck. 
Oh my gosh, that was fun. I have so many fun memories there. All right, so this is the south end of the boardwalk. It's not a very big boardwalk. We spent probably about an hour here, and that's been enough. It's a hot day, so that's plenty. Just to check it out, and we're gonna go down to the beach and then probably head back to the van. Oh, the shoes are coming off. That means it's beach time. How's the sand? Not bad. It's not hot like Florida it's gets. It's not like burning your feet hot. It's warm. It's different kind of sand here. It's much darker than our Florida sand. And the beach here is a lot more crowded than our beach in Florida that we usually go to. We always love the beach. There's just something special about the salt air, crashing waves, ocean breezes, and sounds in the air. Woohoo! That's chilly. What's the temperature of the water like? A little chilly. <laughs> How busy it is here in the middle of July. We're not gonna lie, we definitely prefer the bright blue waters of South Florida. But still, there's something special about the beaches of the Northeast that have boardwalks. To us, that equals lots of fun and nostalgia. I think we're spoiled with Florida beaches, but it's fun. Our time at the meter was running out, so Steve headed back to the van, and I made a quick stop at Penny Lane. I remember walking here years ago with my extended family. What fun. This is a busy place on the weekend. We're doing a lot of sitting in traffic on Route 1 heading south. All right, so we came up a little bit north to Lewis, Delaware. We are at the museum, which is right next to the public library. We're gonna park here and maybe use the facilities and go for a bike ride. So this is where we are at the Lewis Georgetown Rail Trailhead, right here by the library. I think we're gonna try to go up this way, up towards Cape Henlopen State Park. For our bike ride, a little healthy snack, a fresh white nectarine from one of our farms that we work with up in Pennsylvania. Super juicy. It's a hot one today. Nothing like the humidity of Florida. It's tolerable. 90 degree weather. <laughs> so leave it to us to get lost on a rail trail that only has two directions. We thought we were going the right direction, but we're out here and we'd want it to be way over here. I checked the map when we started and it looked like we were going the right direction, so I have no idea what happened. We made a wrong turn in Albuquerque. Sleeping? Good girl. Thank you, good girl. We gave up on getting to Cape Henlopen on our bikes and decided to head into town instead. 
The historic district in Lewis is known for its many Victorian homes. The town proudly calls itself the first town in the first state. For Audra and I, any town that charges for parking and it has a big strike against it. It just seems rather unwelcoming, um, feels rushed, feels like you always got to keep your eye on the time. Um, so tourism boards across America take note. <laughs> well, you're not going to get Audra, Stephen Audra's business. <laughs> seems like almost everywhere you go here in this area, there's meters. So this spot here looks cool, but it's such a hot day. We're not going to pay to park. I'm just going to hop out, get some footage for you, and then we'll keep checking other things out. are in the low 90s that's a bit warm for exploring so it just makes us feel like we don't really want to stick around too much we saw a little bit of Lewis and Everhobit Beach and we're just gonna keep moving it's that kind of day today Slight left on the US 9 West. for those of you that follow along on our channel on a regular basis you might wonder where we've been prior to getting here in Delaware we have been home in Florida for a few weeks we've been working on some improvements on our van and then we had COVID, and just recently, uh, for the last couple of weeks, we've been up north visiting family, but we took some time off from videoing because COVID kind of kicked our butts a little bit, we needed a break, and also just wanted to focus on the time we had with our family. So we were up in New York with my family, seeing my mom and dad and some other family members. Some of the highlights there, we're having some cooler nights, which were perfect for sleeping in the van. There were lots of fireflies. We got to spend some time at the lake, played some mini golf, where I kicked Steve's butt. <laughs> and our winner, and I won a free game. Got it in the nose. Because of COVID, we got on the road about a week late, but we did make it in time for our niece and nephew's graduation party, which was special. It was great to be there for that. And then we got to spend time with a lot of other family. Then we headed to Pennsylvania. We spent some time with Steve's family and have stopped to see some other friends and relatives. Stopped to see a client, that we, a farmer that we work with in Pennsylvania. We tried some wonderful ice cream, lavender lemon. It was leftover from their lavender festival that they just had. We got some peaches and nectarines to try. So it's been really nice being up north, but temperatures being so high now in the 90s is not so pleasant so today this trip has been I'm gonna say maybe like a three van kind of day we had fun at the boardwalk but then it's been so hot checking other things out that we haven't wanted to stop and do too much so we've just been just driving around checking some things out Taking time to check out some of the side streets in Dewey Beach was imperative. I used to vacation here with family when I was young and I wanted to see if some of my favorite spots were still there. The Rusty Rudder, a long-standing hot spot in the area, still remains. There used to be a lighthouse here on the bay that we used to climb up as kids. It was open to the public and free. It had a candy kitchen shop right next door and a trolley would take us over to the more popular Rehoboth Beach Boardwalk area. The next street over is where our family always used to stay, but the old houses that used to be here have long been torn down and replaced with bigger vacation homes. But the many great memories still remain. Sure, it was fun driving through Dewey Beach just a little bit. I used to come there as a kid. The sad thing is though, there used to be a lighthouse where we just were at the Rusty Rudder. And that's not there anymore. Sad how things change.
The map says there's a boardwalk here. I've never heard of one, but we're gonna see if we can find it. We drove through the cute downtown area with a candy kitchen store front and center. It seems like they're on every corner in these Northeast Beach towns. So that boardwalk was just like a little pedestrian path. So again, too hot today to do that. We drove through Bethany and now we're already on to the next little town, Middlesex. And then I think after that is Fenwick Island. Um, then after that we are actually having dinner with some friends when, from when we used to live up north. So check this out a little bit. Probably leave you until later tonight or tomorrow then after that. Well, that wraps up a really hot day in Delaware. <laughs> Next up, we head to the beaches of Maryland and onward as we make our way back south. Back it up, back it up, beep, beep, beep. If you've made it this far, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment and hit that like button, and we hope to see you next time.